Hi guys, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. Welcome to part two of their most common lawn questions we get from lawn lovers. Check out part one if you haven't already. In this video, we look at questions that are normally asked during the warmer months relating to lawn renovations. Some of the answers to these questions do require more detail, so we'll link to a blog or a video throughout so you can get all the information that you need. Let's get stuck in. We recommend manually doing so using either a garden fork, a manual core aerator, or hiring an aerating machine. If you're using a garden fork, it's best to drive the fork into the soil, give it a wiggle back and forth, to help break up the soil profile. When using a core aerator, whether it be manually or with a machine, when the tines exit the ground, they will remove cores that help to create more space in the soil profile. By removing thatch, your soil will get the air and nutrients that it needs. It will also make your lawn feel a lot less spongy. The perfect time to dethatch your lawn is toward the end of spring when lawns are growing quickly and we'll have time to recover before the cooler months. In most cases, top dressing is done to help correct poor soil preparation or to fix low spots in your lawn. This can be done using either sandy loam, fresh organic matter, or even straight washed sand. Once established, only when your lawn needs it. The perfect time to water is early morning before the sun fully comes out rather than in the evening or at night. This can help prevent your lawn from developing a fungal disease. Watering your lawn after dethatching or top dressing on a regular basis will help to aid with recovery. Hopefully this has answered some of the lawn questions you may have with more information available at the links provided. If you have a question we haven't addressed, check out some of our other videos Otherwise, feel free to get in touch and we might make it a topic in one of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and we hope to catch you next time.